Okay, so it looks to be done. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is check for updates and open the console. Um, it took a little while. Um, it installed the management server, then the management console. I don't want to re worry about the release notes or the install guide or the documentation or systems that are online because this really isn't the platform in which to use on which to look, look at those things. Okay, so um, let me see what it's doing. Okay, yeah, it's actually going to try to load that stuff, but really my best bet um, is to see about getting um, let's see. Okay, I already done that. Close. Um, ah, there we go. There's my virtual machine management console. Um, it's a server and a cloud, which is awfully apropos for what we're doing here. Uh, okay, and it is block. Uh, this is something uh, we're going to see over and over and over again if you try to use this thing by itself. Uh, the enhanced security configuration. Uh, this is what I refer to um, in um, in one of my uh, forum posts about the whole thing being in extreme paranoia mode. So close. I don't even want to fight that. That's not a good use of my time. So, um, let's see. There's the okay. So we've got okay. Go. Cool. Um, so we actually we've got two of these. So, um, we'll connect. So we're going to connect to the local host on port 800, 8100. Um, connect, and I'm you. I've got that. That um, let's see. So the next thing we're going to do is um, add a host to the console, um, and that'll actually be uh, my the, uh, th this will actually go into um, the next lab, uh, activity 6-7. So I'm going to pause this for a minute, and we'll come right back. So one of the first things we need to do is add um, a uh, new machine to the VMM console. Obviously, you've got a lot of options up here. It honestly, let me maximize this a bit. No, nope, not quite that. Um, honestly, this this feels a bit like um, now if the uh, virtual machine manager in Hyper V looks like um, the uh, MMC, this looks like a office. Uh, you've got your ribbon across the top. You can create services. Machines, clouds, networks, um, etc. So, one of the first things that we're going to do is go to um, VMs and services. Uh, these are these are our workspaces here: um, the VMs and services workspace, the fabric workspace, library, jobs, settings, etc. So, we're going to go here um, and right-click. Let's see. Hold on. So we start off in the VMs and services. We're going to go to the all hosts option. And we're going to um, add Hyper-V hosts and clusters. You could also set up clusters, hosts and clusters for VM or uh, ESX. We're going to add Hyper-V. Um, and we're going to, it's a trusted Active Directory domain. Um, Next, uh, manually enter your credentials, and it's going to be, okay, I didn't like that. Um, let's come back here, and, okay, come on, you. Okay, so um, next, and we are going to uh, specify an AD query to search. Uh, we're going to click the generate query. 
option. And we're going to type in and uh, click, let me see, click OK. OK, so essentially we're going to look for whatever's there. OK, and then click Next. And I'm going to choose myself, uh, win20systemcenter.sdc.local. Um, it is running, it knows what uh, OS it's running. It knows it's what hypervisor it's using. Um, and then click Next. Um, and so if the role is not already enabled, VMM will try to do that. Uh, this may force a restart. Um, so it's important to have Hyper-V going, um, if at all possible, before you do this. Um, this is not going to hit, uh, it's not going to have a problem. I'm not going to have this problem um, because I've already got Hyper-V up. Uh, okay. Okay. All hosts, all hosts, uh, and okay. Uh, we don't have another VMM environment, so we don't have to reassociate. Um, so click next, and so it's going to find the um, one computer and add it. And it is thinking. Give it some time. Um, So it's an eval, eval copy I've got about, like just like the, the eval copy you've got on Windows Server or the eval copy you might have used uh, of um, um, Win 10, you might have used for a previous class. You've got about um, six months um, to, to decide if you really want this. Um, and then either buy a new license or um, something of that nature. So, uh, okay, multipath is not enabled. Um, okay, and I'm going to leave the console. Up. We're going to leave this up. Um, so that's uh, starting virtual machine manager and adding a host. Um, and I don't think I need to. I don't need to restart anything. Uh, multipath is not enabled, and that's okay. Um, if let's see. I don't really need multipath because I don't have a storage array yet. I might deal with that later. But thanks for watching, and I'll be right back.